If there's one thing that I wish the spiritual community knew, it would be this. Anytime you find yourself being triggered, it's a good thing. To some degree, of course. There's exceptions where people are going out of their way to harm you. But in everyday life, if you find yourself being triggered, it's a great opportunity to say to yourself, okay, why is this triggering me? Go within and do the healing. I've worked with successful spiritual teachers online who claim that they never get triggered and 15 minutes after working with me, they're crying like little babies. I recently found out that yet another group of spiritual people that I used to hang out with have been sending me black magic hexes and curses over the past year and a half. Simply because I was a reflection to them of how unhealed they were. I had a shaman that suffers from a height insecurity run my name through the mud simply because after hundreds of plant medicine ceremonies, he was still nowhere near as healed as I was. I had a couple that I reflected back to them that they had absolutely no self-control or willpower when it came to the food that they put in their mouth. Take it personally and set out to send me black magic. You know, for the man of the house, maybe you should go back to sitting behind a steering wheel for a living because the last thing the world needs is another demonic shaman out there. I've ran into enough of those. I know you used to be into home invasions, but come on, man. You're seriously plotting and scheming against me simply because I reflected back to you that you have no self-control and that you put garbage food in your mouth? Like, come on, bro. You haven't been through a quarter of the shit that I've been through, and I've healed more than you. The fuck are you whining about? I mean, what did you think was going to happen if you went through with your, your plan and plot? You think I wouldn't look into the Akashic Records and find out that it was you? What did you think was going to happen? I was just going to sit back and allow things to be? You know, from what I'm hearing, there's going to be a major loss in your family. And to be quite honest, I'm tired of seeing innocent children that have demonic parents that are sending black magic who don't listen to the signs have to be the victim because of their parents' ignorance. You know, when your new car got broken into, you should have taken that. You should have been smart enough to see that as a sign as your negative energy being returned to sender. Now there's going to be greater consequences. Jail time, death in the family, I'm hearing something along those lines. To the woman in that house, maybe it's time to stop selling plant medicine because it's clearly not working for you. Sometimes I wonder if people understand what happens after your life review. Stand in front of a panel of ascended masters and guess who's on that panel? If you guessed yours truly, congratulations. As someone that has a higher spiritual ranking than most people walking this planet at the moment, I'm going to have the ability to decide what happens to your consciousness after this reality. You know, there's a handful of beings on this panel. And they're all there for different reasons. You know, some people would have been more safe in the afterlife fucking around against Jesus in this incarnation because he's a lot more forgiving than I am. I left paradise to come here to help and I can forgive all those people from my past that have done me wrong. But to the people that intentionally send me death spells and black magic, that's equivalent to that magnitude. To the people that go out of their way to plot and scheme against me, there's going to be consequences. Many of the people that have truly done me wrong in this life, when they pass away, their consciousness is going to be sucked into a reality where they are a bushman on an African savanna. And they're going to soon find themselves surrounded by a pride of lions. And the more spiritual people I work with, the more I realize I'm going to need more lions because there's going to be more and more people that are going to find themselves in this reality. And I'm going to put my consciousness in those lions. And for the next thousand years, these lions are going to take turn ripping you apart limb by limb. The next time someone triggers you and you get really angry and like something of like revenge or, you know, something along those lines comes to your mind and it's all you can think about. Try to ask yourself, what is it in that situation that's aggravating you so much? You know, anytime I get triggered, I ask myself, I'm like, okay, what's happening here? It allows us to go within and elevate to the next step. You know, many people in the spiritual community have anchored themselves in. You know, maybe they've been healing people for a long time, so their, their ego tells them that they're the shit, they're on top, and then as soon as someone reflects back to them that they have a shit ton of healing to do, rather than do the healing because they've become comfortable where they are, 
they want to attack the messenger and that's just going to keep you in a continuous loop down here on planet earth which is why beings have to come from other universes and star systems to help you guys because you haven't managed to pull your head out of your ass many people in the spiritual community need a lot of healing to do before they should be healing others that's all i got thanks for watching